If you've ever dabbled with live streaming, YouTube videos or content creation of any kind, there's zero chance that you don't know about or have at least heard of OBS Studio. It's the go-to program for amateurs and professionals alike, providing a free, critical piece of infrastructure without which many people couldn't even think about getting started in our industry. And yet, despite it being used globally by hundreds of thousands of individuals, some making multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars a month, the creator, Lane Bailey, gets a pittance. Now, I want to be clear, as clear as I can be at least, this video isn't designed to be a call out or an attack. If Lane wanted, she could have taken the project private at any time or put features behind a subscription service. Yet yeah, she hasn't. There are companies out there who actively support OBS Studio and there are over 500 patrons. Why am I making this video? It's honestly simple. I run a channel of over 200,000 subscribers. I've been making content since 2012 on various platforms and yet I simply did not know that OBS had a Patreon. And it's very possible that many others also don't know this. OBS, also known as Open Broadcaster Software, is one of the undeniably strongest bedrocks of the internet today. Content creation has become unbelievably simple thanks to the creation of this program. The net worth of the content creators who utilize it daily to generate their income is simply unfathomable. All of this is down to a dedicated team of developers who work tirelessly to program, innovate and create features and experience for end users free of charge. No holds barred. This sort of business model doesn't exist anymore. Because, simply put, it's not profitable, it's not feasible, and it's not fair. The vast majority of platforms who utilize a similar business strategy are using the users as the merchandise. They are the commerce, they sell your data, they use it to fund their projects, or they're burning the candles at both ends in order to be purchased by a bigger company to move on. But this project has been live since 2012. It's been over a decade. And it's safe to say this is not the strategy that OBS is going for. And I think it's time that we supported it like it should be. If we look at the numbers, the people who engage with the Patreon, the individuals who provided much needed support that is required for this program not only to exist, they also remain free for anyone to pick up. Kind of sickening to see how little people seem to care or know. Your gaming content creators, your live streamers, people making videos for tutorials or infomercials and serials, voiceover for games and more of the sims. These people are pulling in tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars and don't spare a dime or a moment of their time for the individuals who are on the front lines, carrying almost the entire industry on their backs. I myself, I'm only able to support a small sum. I've been a member since May 2021, and I will remain a member, hopefully increasing the amount once I see more success. But as it is with me, I, I really, really hope that the reason these content creators don't provide support, despite the insane successes they found off the backs of this program, is they simply did not know that there was an option to, nor that it may be necessary. This isn't something that's advertised. This isn't something that's pushed on you when you open up OBS, when you first launch the program. Instead, what you're greeted with is, hey, here's an update. Do you want to update? Windows doesn't even do that. It just forces you to update. Fuck Microsoft. Okay. Fuck. If you are a content creator and you use OBS as your daily drivers for content, or you're a content consumer who watches videos and you know that the people creating that content is an OBS enjoyer. If you use it to put bread on your table, put food in your mouth and a roof over your head, I urge you, I sincerely implore you, toss a coin to your Twitcher enabler. I don't want to see a future where we lose such a critical resource because we took it for granted instead of lauding it with the support it deserves. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. Also, there's a non-zero chance that there are creators I flashed up on the screen that use Streamlabs or XSplit or um, Fraps. Does anyone remember Fraps? I used to use Fraps. Oh Lord, I hated Fraps. I mean, that's another reason to support, right? Screw Fraps. Anyway, if so, if you do use those programs, ignore this. This is not for you, obviously. It's near impossible to verify who uses what without an insane amount of in-depth research that this video really didn't need. This isn't an expose or a call out. It's just a video to let people know that, hey, this Patreon exists and maybe you should pay attention to it. Even if you only do a little bit on once per month, you know, it's a, it's there. Y'all are awesome. Let's keep making internet content for decades to come using the tools that are provided to us by people who work insanely hard. Peace.